So insert data using select. Actually, that's using subqueries and now it's using about the select here. So write a T SQL script to insert a new record in dim color table. But the logic is take the distinct color from dim product and insert in dim color. That's amazing. So now the challenge here is. So let's go back to the another database because dim color is already available here. So I'm taking up here dim color. So we have a green and red here, um, but dim product. OK, if I just go back to this itself. We have a black, blue, green, everything available on this thing. Sorry, and if I want to take the value from dim product color table, so select color from dim product. So it has done 606 value. So for that, I need to use a distinct thing in order to get only the distinct values here. Select distinct color from dim product. Now this time it has given up 10 values here. So here on the dim color table, uh, let me delete the first uh, order by color key. OK, let's delete the first. Let's, let's keep only two first and then delete everything. So delete from dim color where color key is greater than two. So it's not allowing me to delete that because it's already available on another table here. OK, so let's start from dim color two here in that case. We have a table another dim color two. That's cool. This is dim color. So let's start from dim color two. Alright, so I'm using a different database here for this example. So select star from dim color, order by color key. So it has given me two results, which is green and red here. Now the challenge is I need to take the distinct color from the product table and then insert into that one. So here you can see we have these colors, which is available on this one, but I'm not sure if this is a. I'm using a distinct also here because it should give only a distinct value. But without that, if I run this one, it is giving me 2500 records. That's a big number. So only unique means we have only these things. Now, if I use the same example of the previous thing, insert into this one, um, then select color, OK, and then insert into dim color. I'm using the same formula here. Insert into dim color and then select statement of this thing. So what's going to happen? It is giving me error here. The reason is because I cannot able to insert duplicate key from this dim uh, on the dim color here. So if I look back again, it only has two records here. The green and red is already available. So from this statement, I had to neglect the green and red color if it is available. As I can see it here, the green is available here and the red is also available here. So first of all, I need to remove these colors if it is already available on the dim, uh, dim color table. So to do that, select distinct color from dim product where color not in because I need to use this again here color not in select color from dim color. Confused right? <laughs> select English color from dim color. So first of all, I'm just using up here. Let me easy fire easy you select color English color. OK, I need to select here. It's going to return me green and red here. So I'm using this in, in the bracket and using up here. Now if you read this statement, select distinct color from dim product where color not in select English color from dim color. So I'm selecting from that one. I'm neglecting those colors here. So previously if I run only these things, it's giving me 16 values. Now if I run this one, it should give me only 14 values. That's pretty amazing because the green and red is already available. So I'm neglecting those things from this value. Now if I run this statement, it will insert the record. 14 rows affected. That's cool. So if I run this also here, now I can see a totally of 16 records available here. So this is pretty amazing. This is how you can enable to work on your queries. If you want to copy a data from one table to another table, and if you have this kind of unique constraint issue, in that case, you can make use of this option here. So you can take the data from that table and pass that as to filter those records and then insert that value, which is remaining from the other table. Thank you so much for watching this um, till the end. 
And if you like this video, just hit the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just hit the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications.